you for watching The Forum. I'm your host, Ashley Tate, here with my co-host, Christy Largent. And today we're talking about women in business, so we're very excited about this show. Um, we are here with Joy Taylor, um, some of you know pretty well, and she is the director of the Women Women's Business Center at JEDI. And we're also here with Catherine Lowe, who is also one of the clients of the Women's Business Center. So we're going to get both perspectives mm -hmm. and kind of see how what the Women's Business Center actually does. So Joy, can you start us off with that? And yeah, absolutely. Us? So yeah. we are SBA funded, in part okay. SBA funded, and there's over 106 women's business centers across the country. Oh. Uh, we are lucky enough to have one up here in this region, mm -hmm. and we help people start and grow businesses. Mm -hmm. so, and now when you say SBA funded, yes. you mean small Small business, business administration, administration. Okay. right? So, and, yeah. yeah, and we're grant funded, so then we seek out other grants, mm -hmm. non-federal, mm -hmm. and that allows us to offer a lot of support for free or very low cost. Mm -hmm. Free. So what kind of things? Yeah, that's do a good you word. <laughs> <laughs> and they free are too. Yeah. <laughs> I've taken some of their classes, so yeah. I know they really are very cost effective. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you guys are doing? Oh my goodness. Well, you know, if you think about it, how do you start a business? How do you grow a business? And there's so many elements yeah. to that. Um, as you know, as you know, yeah. and you can share too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we help per people first off just do a viability study. Is this a good idea? And that can be for someone who's thinking about starting a business, but also if they want to scale their business. Mm -hmm. are th is there a market for what they have in mind? Are there ways that we could look at changing that? Who's their competition? So, you know, we always start fundamentally there. Mm -hmm. um, but wow, what else do we do between our classes and our consulting? Everything it takes to have a successful business, marketing, branding, bookkeeping, the oh, legal aspects. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Now, Catherine, when you walked into the Women's Business Center, what is that experience like? And I'm asking that because, you know, sometimes it's a little daunting to, to hear, right. I don't know if my idea is even worth going, <laughs> right. you know? So did you yes. call first or did, what did you do? Um, so my first experience was with the It's Your Business course. Okay. And that was, um, it was six Saturdays. So okay. it was very time intensive. Yeah. So yeah, the first class I was wondering what, where do I start? Yeah. yeah. Does this even apply to me? Because I'm a structural engineer, so yeah. and I've been doing it for years. Okay. But I haven't necessarily built a business around it. So when I left my employer, and I, my first big client was Cal Fire, because they need a practicing structural engineer. That's a huge. It was first a great. Client. It was a great <laughs> project. But that project ended. Yeah. And right. then I realized, oh, oh, okay, now what do I do? So yeah. that was. I was really glad to attend that course. Okay. Now, did you make the decision to? go out on your own or did something happen and you had to be out on your own because you know usually if you're yeah. thinking about going out you kind of you know <laughs> you've thought through it and then right. sometimes you just have to make it work right no it was um, completely a decision because I realized I wasn't having enough fight face time with the clients anymore and that's really what I wanted to do yeah. but how do I interact with the clients yeah. I didn't know yeah. and the it's your business class was really great because there was such a variety of different business owners yeah. there yeah. or to be mm -hmm. business owners and so it was really cool to talk to them about how did they talk to their clients and networking and all of that. And so yes. it's your business class. What did that kind of, what does that cover? Yeah. I'm glad you And who asked. would be interested in yeah. that? Yeah, I love that class. And it is such a variety. A window washer who wants to grow and have employees okay. and understand how to do that. Um, we work with artists, construction, mm -hmm. photographers, that's caterers, fantastic. restaurant owners. So, you know, anyone who is really good at their craft, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. but doesn't necessarily know what's their niche or how do they want to market and where do they want to spend their money and how mm -hmm. do they even budget or so. We cover every single aspect of that. At the end, people have a formal or an informal business plan. Wow, so it's great. working on your business, right? Yeah. Not just in it, rushing right. around. Yes, and yes. people don't know, and I didn't know. I'm a, I'm a self-employed, I'm kind of like psychologically unemployable, right? So I'm an entrepreneur, I get it. I've had a couple businesses, I still have yeah. an online business, and we don't know what we don't know. And truthfully, the beauty of being an entrepreneur is kind of making it up as you go along, yeah, learning absolutely. by doing, but to have mentors. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad, Catherine, you mm -hmm. mentioned just the accountability and the brain trust or yeah. the built-in focus group of mm -hmm. other classmates. 
yes. yeah. is really helpful. Mm -hmm. So that class, we always offer that in, well, I didn't mention we serve Shasta, Siskiyou, Humboldt, and Trinity counties. Oh. So we hop around yeah. and wow. uh, offer the class in different areas. So the, Yes, so different areas will hold the class different times of the right. year? Or? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And all that is housed on your website if people wanted to know where where they could find out, you know. Yeah, that's okay. housed. Other courses, we do webinars once a month. Oh, that's So that fantastic. can reach everyone. Yeah. And those are always mm -hmm. on unique, very specific topics. So Catherine, yes. after you finished that course, mm -hmm. and you're, but you're still working with them. Yes. So what, tell us about that journey. Yeah, so one of the things they brought up during the course and why I continue to work with JEDI is they, they mentioned the concept of jump the bar. And so that's moving from being self-employed to a business owner. And that's a concept that mm. as a practicing engineer, it doesn't resonate very well. So I had to start thinking about how, what could I um, build into a business. Mm -hmm. And so I've been working with Joy about how to um, create a digital course. And that is actually really exciting because yes. I think people really do want to understand simple structures and how you can put them together to make a complex structure. Like the pylon of the Sundial Bridge. Oh, it's okay. a very complex structure, but it's actually very um, simple structures put together. Oh, and wow. so we're going to introduce that in the new um, STEM field trip at Sundial Bridge. Um, and that's put out for seventh graders oh, wow. um, through Turtle Bay. So the, when fantastic. someone would come to a class would come to Turtle Bay and then mm -hmm. do the project that you've designed and you've created this content. Most of it, yes. Yeah, yeah. utilizing our sun, the Sundial Bridge. Right, is, right. Like, and I'll, and I'll go on to explain more concepts if they want to access those on the digital course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're creating wow. basic, I mean, you're actually doing a lot of things. You're kind of prepping them for like what college is like now too, in some ways, mm -hmm. at a very young age because you know, they do a lot of mm -hmm. online courses there yes. and learning how to use a computer and putting the elements of the environment together right. and bringing your engineering and STEM. I, I think it's such an amazing concept because I'm not sure, I don't think it's out there yet. Mm -hmm. That, I haven't seen anything like that where yeah. it's an online. I don't know. Yeah. Learning I haven't looked for it, but I would That's imagine. That's true. <laughs> I, imagine you did, I imagine you did some market research. I hope so, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. We, I did. Did. Yeah. we looked it yeah. over, right? Yeah. yeah. What is fantastic. out there right now in your field? As I mean, you think about um, mechanical engineering seems like a narrow field. Um, yeah. So it's structural engineering. A structural. That's I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of information out there for people who are graduated out of college and just trying to transition into um, practicing mm -hmm. engineers because there is some gap there but I'm actually targeting people who haven't actually gone to college yet that they're still yeah. trying to decide what do they want to study mm -hmm. um, and, and structures in, in general aren't very accessible mm -hmm. and I'm very interested in making them more accessible. That is so That's interesting mm -hmm. because I think about my own seventh grade daughter and her interest in science and mm -hmm. STEM things and she's like I don't know that she's really excited about it, even though she does well in it. But something like what you're doing would open to her that yeah, they that just don't possibility, know. right? They don't the opportunity, know what's available. right? Mm -hmm. Well, and I just want to say from the Women's Business Center that we yeah. love seeing women yes. that are mm -hmm. in STEM, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know that's something else we do a lot of is mm -hmm. really women's leadership and bring women together who are in business to network and mm -hmm. learn negotiation skills and build confidence and really mm -hmm. raise each other mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So. It's, now, when you went to the, yeah. it's, when she went to the, it's your business course. Right. No, is that all for women too, or is that for everyone? Everything we offer is for everyone. Okay, the that's good emphasis to know. of the women business centers across the country is really serving women, sure. and one of the reasons is, you know, we look at especially access to capital, which mm -hmm. is something else we help women oh. and men get loans oh. and mm -hmm. find out where mm -hmm. they exist and how mm -hmm. to write a business plan and mm -hmm. fill out a loan application, but so few women are. And so that is recognized. The government yeah. sees that. Yeah. And so we focus. We market towards women, and we serve women and men. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. I think that's a, a very a important thing. When you said window washer, immediately I thought of a man. And I was like, but maybe it's, maybe maybe it's, it's a woman. woman. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. It's a scale of business. Yeah. We're, we're more than 50% women, but we absolutely, because all of us who are growing our businesses, yes. yeah, right. yeah. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> everyone needs help. What do you see it's, the biggest need is in the community for women business, business women? You know, that's an interesting question. I recently was with 12 women mm -hmm. in business from the Reading area, and we were asking that because we're developing a monthly meeting yes, for yes. women in business. And consistently, it appears that, you know, it's interesting. It's us. You know, the more confident we are, yeah. <laughs> the bigger we think. 
And once you have the confidence, you're taking care of yourself, you've reached a certain balance in life, you know that those resources are gonna be available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think women need to know that they can think big, that they have support, and that we can, like I said before, learn by doing, mm -hmm. you know, and help each other in that way. Absolutely. But we're, we're having fun exploring more of those needs. And it is mm -hmm. custom, everyone's different. And that's what I love about our free business consulting is we really work with the individual. How are things priced? Well, the, <laughs> the consulting is free. Okay. And you know, we, we're grant funded, so things flex. Mm -hmm. um, we do a tax preparation program, which is free. Um, the courses are very inexpensive, uh, $10 for a workshop, $65 for a six week course. There's wow. some examples. Wow. Now, yeah. is there a commitment that goes along? Like if, if, if I were to come and mm -hmm. I wanted to start, say I went through like you did, it's your business. Right. And is there a commitment once you meet with a counselor? Do you need to come back a certain amount of times? No. Or we're, we're here for you. I love it. I love that, <laughs> Joy. We're here for I you. I hope you're committed to your business. You yeah, know, we yes. can help you. Yeah. And we have so many resource partners, mm -hmm. you know, uh, contracting with the government. I would yeah. send you somewhere else okay. to an expert in that yeah. arena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a good connecting place. It really is. To get your questions answered and to find out if there's, you know, something that anything that they can need, you can help. Mm -hmm. And they can call you too, right? Right. Absolutely. 530-926-6670. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So, that's okay. That's premature. <laughs> I was sitting here thinking of Catherine because we were wrapping up on time, but okay. if, if somebody were out there thinking, gosh, I don't know if I should do it, what would you say, Catherine, yeah. to somebody oh, like... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, you don't know what you don't know until you go and find out what that information is. And um, I benefited so much, so there's a chance that you will, too. Yeah. And no one's born a business owner. I think that's good to know. You're not born an entrepreneur or business owner, so you Learn have skills. to go. Yeah, you have yeah. to go get this information. And what's the website for people to go to? It is e-jedi.org. Super easy. e-jedi.org. Yeah. So Joy and Catherine, thank you guys so much for coming on. It's so interesting. You know, we're get, this went fast. Yeah. It always does. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the first half. But don't go away because we're just getting ready to, we'll come back after the break with more on women in business and women who are actually making it happen, just like these guys. back with the second half of our show with women in business and today we're going to be speaking with the Reading Fashion Alliance and we have two members and I think I can call you guys the founders right right yeah. and um, this is Jan Kearns and this is Robin F Fader. 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 Fader I want to say Fator. That's okay. Fader. Fader. And you're with Gold Coast Goods mm -hmm. and your business is on Etsy and mm -hmm. what's it called? Dark Pony Design. Dark Pony Design. Yeah. So both of them you have to check out, really amazing things. Let's it, jump right into Yeah, what is the, we saw a big hubbub on social media about, what, six, seven months ago maybe, about the Reading Fashion Alliance. Yeah. Tell us all about it. How did it get started? And we want to hear about it. Yeah. What is it? Do you want to start? Sure, sure. So about, um, about a year ago, Rachel Hatch, who writes a column in the paper, um, had a hashtag, what if Reading? And I had started, I have this company here and was thinking about, you know, as it's growing to looking at what if Reading got designers and makers together to talk about small batch manufacturing in the Reading area. And that's really what started the whole thing. Yeah. Um, wow. And Robin and I had met, um, mm -hmm. our husbands worked together mm -hmm. and we ended up meeting at a, at a Christmas party, I think, yep. and went, oh my gosh, you know, so it was yeah. what we've done is we found over time, there are many, many, many people who are really doing a lot of sewing and creating, but they're all working individually yes. and they mm -hmm. and and they're small people who are doing small single businesses often out of their homes and they don't have a way to connect and network with each other yes and that's what the Reading Fashion Alliance is able to do and so does the Reading Fashion Alliance <coughs> allow people who like if someone's watching they're like I actually make things too well, does it allow them like to help manufacturing like lower the cost or what, what exactly would be the tangible benefits of being part of the Reading Fashion Alliance, besides connecting and right. working? Um, we just recently moved into a space. Okay. And so we actually have equipment available. 
that people can use wow. on a day rate or oh, wow. per month, whatever they choose. Yes. We have an industrial sewing machine. We have a cutting table. We have a lot of shared space where people can come and actually work. Wow. And so that's one wow. big benefit of being involved. Mm -hmm. And then we're also offering classes and education to help people um, with their business, but also with sewing. Yes. And so right now we don't have production. We don't have small batch yeah. production right now, but that's the long-term goal. Mm -hmm. So for right now we're trying to teach people how to produce their own their own products. Yes, and where that. is it? Where's your Where's your co-working space? So it's at 244 Hartnell Avenue. Oh, we Hartnell. are sharing it with uh, Artsmart. We are a fiscal project of the Shasta County Arts Council. Oh. And so Artsmart is part of the Shasta County Arts Council, and so we have shared this retail space, and we're kind of joining forces. Mm -hmm. Where is that? What's it near on Hartnell? I'm it's trying to picture where that is. Cobblestone Court. Oh, Cobblestone. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. That is very That's nice. really neat. So who could be a member of it, and who could use it? And I need you to pull your hair back so it's off oh. of the mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. Um, yeah, anybody can use it. Um, anyone who has, we're going to set up a training. So if, if anybody wants to come in and use that equipment, we're just going to do a quick little tr safety training with them, and then they are ready to go. And so anybody, anybody in the community can use it. If wow. you even, so even if they've never sold anything and they just want to try to create. Yep. I mm -hmm. love wow. that. I think that is so that's such an interesting concept because you are bringing in the co-working, mm -hmm. you know, concept, which usually people are on a computer. And this, you're saying, come work together, so you're not, right. you know, it, you know, alone <laughs> yeah. working on your craft. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's really a yeah. maker space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your your. You want to do classes. You want to really do outreach in the community as a fashion alliance. Yeah. So interesting. So what's that going to look like? So we have two different two different um, kind of arms of our classes, I guess. So one is starting with sewing, and what we've what we're discovering is that there's a big need for with both kids and adults who now that sewing isn't offered in schools anymore, that people just don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. we're starting this <coughs> month with um, with our first beginning sewing classes we'll continue those every month so we're going to do beginning add intermediate we'll grow to advanced and hopefully move into really pattern making and that kind of wow. track to to really doing design mm -hmm. that's our long-range goal um, and so those classes start and then this summer we're also going to be adding some probably some camp you know sewing classes for kids so that would be amazing and, and a way to you know fundraise too and Right. Essentially. Right. And in mm -hmm. fact, the, you mentioned that the teacher, tell the teacher, us about the teacher, because I think our viewers will remember Renee. Renee, who owned um, So Fabulous, fabulous. Yeah. Um, yes. Renee Gunlickson is teaching our first class, and she is Great. very excited to be able to be coming back and starting to... With the kids. With kids yeah. and with adults. So, so she's, she's doing both. This is 12 plus. 12 plus. Okay. This okay. First Good. Class. Great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boy, that's really so, something. I do want to dive in just a little bit because I want to find out what you guys actually make and what, you know, because this is kind of the birth of the Fashion Alliance. Yeah. And so tell us what, what you guys have actually created on your own okay. and how you guys connected and all of that. Okay. Should I start? Um, yeah. So Dark Pony Designs is a brand for women. It is a lot of special occasion. I do bridal. I have jewelry and accessories. I have a handbag line. Yep. Yep. You make the handbags? I actually, this was an interesting collaboration. Okay. I designed the handbags and I actually had them produced in Latvia by two girls that have their own uh, Etsy shop and they what? ship them to me. Fantastic. So. That's amazing. Well, and Robin, that's grown out of your Etsy. The part we have, to, I have to butt in here because yeah, that's okay. I'm good at butting in. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Robin so teaches fun. a class on how to start your own Etsy class for Jedi. Etsy shop, yeah. Etsy shop. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I actually took that class with my daughter last summer, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. And she's a wonderful teacher. Thank you. So you really are. And she has a very thriving Etsy business. Mm -hmm. And I love how you started small, like you told some stories stories about yes. starting and they've really developed your business. Tell a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean I really started with almost nothing. So it was just kind of a sewing machine that someone had given me and maybe $25 for supplies and I just decided to teach myself to sew and oh. make something and photograph it and put it on Etsy and see if anybody bought it, which they did for $12. And, and now she's got a beautiful, <laughs> if you look that site up, if you have your phone out and you look up this site, it, gorgeous clothes. 
Yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I will be on there. Um, <laughs> okay, and then, and then Jan, what is it that you do? So um, we are, Gold Coast Goods is an accessory line. We do neckwear, neckties, bow ties, mm -hmm. uh, neckerchiefs, pocket squares. Um, so that's our primary line. We have, we've been in business about three years. Wow. So my daughter, Sam, who grew up here, yeah. now lives in Los Angeles, and she's a um, wardrobe stylist and oh. has all of the fashion background so she does our design and then I do all the production here so awesome. it's really a reading based business um, as well so so that's what that's what we do and we have our own website and we also have a Etsy shop so now what would you I mean I know you just told your story mm -hmm. about the not starting with much mm -hmm. and I think um, it's a very interesting concept for me because I'm not crafty at all but to, to think of wanting to start something like, oh, I want to start a fashion line. There's so many kids, you know, that want mm -hmm. to start fashion lines or people. How realistic do you feel it is, since you both are successful, how realistic would it be for someone to say, I want to start something to have an idea? What would you tell them? <laughs> I think I know what you're going to say. <laughs> what would you tell them? <laughs> um, I would just say, if you have an idea, you should test it. So okay. make that thing that you're thinking about or um, make it and have someone try it or put it out online and ask people, what do you think? Would you buy this? Yes. Um, I mean, the true test is if someone will actually put money forward for that product, you're probably onto something. Do you guys feel like there's any cases of knockoffs? Like people try to make your thing, you know, you put something out there. A lot of people are worried about this, right? You know, you test something. Yeah, and I hear that a lot. I'm, yeah, it's so big. It's right. a big concern. Right. right? Um, I mean, I would say that as you go along and get bigger, you should be concerned about copyright and trademark okay. and all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, but I tend to think if someone is actually copying what you do in some way, you should take it as a compliment. Okay, that is so good to hear. <laughs> I love it. those answers. Well, and... <laughs> And Robin is a phenomenal marketer, too. Okay, so yeah. you bring that in. She's done a tremendous job with social media on marketing your business, mm -hmm. too. And I think with this Reading Fashion Alliance, I mean, who else? You're gonna, you guys are taking it clearly, big places. So you're connected as for your help to help support funding it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're connected with whom? So, I mean, the Shasta County Arts Council mm -hmm. is our our fiscal partner. Okay. They are kind of making it so that we are a nonprofit, but yes. under them. They yes. are our nonprofit umbrella. Just your fiduciary agent, essentially. Mm -hmm. Basically, okay. so we can apply yeah. for grants mm -hmm. through them. Okay. Which okay. is yes. a great way to are start. There other, are there other fashion alliances like this in other communities? There are, and we actually reached out as we were doing the research to um, Nashville Fashion Alliance, and then um, the Iowa Fashion Project, which does a, um, a Flyover Fest in I, I mean Iowa. Iowa, well, Iowa, Iowa. does a lot of things, you know, though. and so yeah. so they're doing wonderful things, and that was the piece where we've really um, partnered with that. And in fact, um, Simeon Talley, who was one of the co-founders of the Iowa Fashion Project, mm. was here and um, spoke at TEDx oh. the, the, um, in October. So oh, that's so neat. it's been really nice because we've have we have some nice connections and um, great models out there and uh, you know that you can you can really you could create it and build it and um, and people are hungry for it yes so we when we first started we did our first um, venture was um, fashion futures which was right. out at the Shasta Venture Hub in September and um, and we had uh, over a hundred people who came we did a nod to the past with Lorelei's that used to mm -hmm. be here in mm -hmm. fact the Venture Hub is in the old Lorelei oh. manufacturing oh. Mm -hmm. site so that was really fun and then talked to about, but we had over a hundred people. But what, what did what was it? Oh, see, now that's something see, we talked oh, about. Here's what's happening. Here's what we see around fashion can be fashion. It, we found people who were really interested, and that well, Reading does really have fashion, yeah. and um, and that it can be something that is a reason for people to get together, to feel good about how they look while they're getting together. Yes. Um, and, but also that it's a great economic, um, there's a whole economic starter Stimulus. for it as well. Oh, now, will, will businesses join, oh, we're almost out of time. 
So, doggone it. I know. I know. I, okay, how Ask do people get more information? Oh. I was just going to say, would, would like... Um, Dandelion be a part of your fashion alliance. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yes. cool. We're trying to support You're retailers. You're supporting We're retailers. Supporting okay. retailers. So yeah. how can people get more information? So they would go to our website, readingfashionalliance.org. Okay. We have a lot of information on there regarding classes, makerspace, and, and um, events. And events. And events. So that's yeah. your hub. Mm -hmm. Readingfashionalliance.org. I would also encourage you to look up Dark Pony Designs on Etsy right. and Gold Golden Coast Goods. Goods. Gold Coast Goods. Mm -hmm. Okay. Websites. Yes. Yes. With GoldCoastGoods.com. Amazing okay. bow ties on there. Yes. yes. We'll so cute. Okay. Too. We are so fortunate here, aren't we? We have the most talent in our community. And, and thank you so much for coming on, you guys. Thank you. Super interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. What a fun day we've had today on the forum. Thank you for watching. And we'll look forward to seeing you again next time where we're meeting interesting people doing interesting things. Mm -hmm.